Hello everybody and thank you for tuning into my channel. My name is William for those who don't know and in today's video we are going to be talking about how much did I pay for that solar system. I think you guys will be shocked as I was when I was going over the numbers of how much electricity this system can produce for how little amount of money I actually paid for it. On that note let's get started. First up we'll be talking about the solar panels themselves. Behind me there are 24 solar panels in total divided up onto two different mounting racks. Each mounting rack has 12 panels on one, 12 panels on the other. So two total, you have 240 volts, each of them feeding back into the inverters. Of course, if you purchase in bulk, you get a better deal on uh, anything. And in this case, I bought a pallet of panels. There were 25 pallets, or 25 panels in the pallet. I bought those from Ian at watts247.com and I only paid a whopping $2,000 for 25 panels. They are 315 watt monochrome 48 volt panels with 24 of them installed. That's a little over seven and a half kilowatts of electricity for $2,000. As you guys know, that is extremely cheap for the amount of energy you can produce. On a good day, uh, middle of the day, I am producing roughly 90, 95 amps of electricity off those 24 panels. On to the mounting system. That is a mounting system made out of treated lumber. Solar panels themselves are actually sustained and held on by metal super struts and little bolts that tap into there. Foundation is made of concrete. I use the little uh, cardboard cylinders that you put the post down in and pour the concrete into. All that said, the total of the lumber, the super struts, the metal, the bolts, and the concrete was roughly $400. $200 in wood, you have about $100 in concrete and you have about a hundred dollars in the super struts all right next up is the combiner boxes this is a four in one combiner box uh, each of those 12 panels goes into one combiner box remember i have two these are really nice uh, like i said four in one what does that mean we have four uh, sets of panels going into one uh, combiner box they do come pre-wired they do come with their own set of breakers they do come with the um, lightning shut off fuse there they are uh, have these nice little LED lights that uh, uh, that show that you have current coming in from the solar panels really nice I purchased these also from Watts 247 uh, there was two of them each of them costs I believe was two hundred and forty dollars meaning you have two of them so you'll have four hundred and eighty dollars between the two now you can probably get these a lot cheaper somewhere else but they are really nice. They do come pre-wired. Like I say, you don't have to fiddle around and make make the box yourself. Pre-wire everything. Put in the, the breakers. Uh, put in all the bus bars. Everything like that. I went with a little more expensive option, which was these. Really nice option. And I saved myself a little bit of time. Wiring. I used 8 gauge wiring in this case. I could have used 10. One thing you're going to need to know before you choose the type of wiring that you will be using, the gauge of wiring that you'll be using. You will need to know the distance, the amount of volts, and the amount of amps you will be carrying over that distance. In my case, I have 100 feet going from my panels to my house. The charts show that I could use a 10 gauge wire. I did upgrade that to an 8 gauge wire just because I do plan on implementing four more panels on each of those racks behind me. That being said, I purchased the 8 gauge wire from Menards. They come in 500 foot rolls. Each roll is $220. I purchased two rolls in total. Uh, one set of white wiring, one set of black wiring. That's $440 for 1,000 feet 8 gauge wire. That's much more than I need for the two runs as you can see behind me from the solar systems to the house. As I said, it's only about 100 foot, so it did leave me extra wiring. I did use a lot of my other wiring for connecting the bottom of the solar system rack and panels inside the house, running from inverters to the breaker panel box, uh, also the ground wiring. Uh, that was another 100 and, 100 and some foot distance that I used the 8 gauge wiring. That is why I used a thousand foot. I probably could have gotten away with 500 foot to cut my costs and like I said I could have used 10 gauge wiring that would have also cut my costs. Alright, on to the inverters. 
These are the hybrid inverters. This is the Growatt 48 volt SPF 3000 TL LVM ES. These are capable of managing 3000 watts. Um, they are scalable, meaning you can put six of these in series so the system can grow as you grow. You can run them on grid or off grid. They are batteryless as well, so you could run these without any batteries making your solar system option extremely cheap. Of course, uh, if you're going to have a solar system during the day, you're not going to have energy. But then again, if you're using a hydro plant or you're using wind energy, you can plug them into these systems. Really nice systems, extremely scalable and extremely cheap. I have two of them on my system. Each one of these inverters is running one leg of 120 volts. I do have two of them for 240 volts into my main breaker panel. That being said, I purchased these from watts247.com, Ian. I paid $750 each one. You could get away with one and run 240 volts off this system, or in my case, I'm running two because I have 7.5 kilowatt system. Each of these is capable of managing three kilowatts. So in my system, I paid $1,500 for the two. Extremely cheap, extremely scalable, highly recommend these inverters. If you were going to put them into your house and rely 100% off solar, I would recommend you get the 5000 series. But in my case, I am going to be implementing these into the greenhouse. That being said, let's move on to the next part of the list. We will go over the components and the breaker boxes. Onto the breaker box. This is a PowerMark Gold 200 amp breaker box with double pull service. It has space for 1, 2, 20 breakers. I bought this at Home Depot. You will need two DC quick shutoffs. I believe each of these was $20. I will put the cost in the description below. You are also going to need a DC breaker box with the quick shutoffs. These are breakers inside. This was purchased on Amazon. It is called the All Club Plastic Transparent Cover Power Distribution Protection Box. Line runs, you have line one, line two, $10 each. I paid $20 for this box. That's $40 for the total package. Well, I bought that on Amazon. I will these batteries were purchased from Signature Solar. Each one came in at a hefty price of $1,500 per battery. Now, there is a lot of options out there for batteries. They are Chinese batteries. Given the amount of kilowatt storage capacity each one has, $1,500 isn't that expensive given the case that it has. There are 16 prismatic cells. They do have 7,000 cycle capabilities and they come with a pretty good BMS so I have four batteries in total for 20 kilowatts at a hefty price of $6,000. That is the most expensive part of the solar system. Again, guys, don't get afraid of the price because you don't have to have $6,000 worth of batteries from the beginning. Or you could make your own batteries or you could start out with one or you could use lead acid. Depends on your needs. will be dependent on the price. But again, this is the most expensive part of my solar system and it is the most expensive part of most everybody's solar system. And another tool that I didn't mention that you're going to be needing, you're going to need some wire crimping tools and the connectors that go on there. I calculated another $50 into that cost. Uh, whether you use those or not, that's your choice. I highly recommend you do because you'll make a better uh, contact for all of your electrical connections and needs. That being said, guys, we have a grand total of everything that we've put in place. We have the solar panels, we have the mount systems, we have the combiner boxes, we have the wiring, we have the components, the breaker boxes, DC and AC, and some of the tools that go along with it. We have a grand total of $10,600 for seven and a half kilowatt solar panel system, mounting racks, all the cabling, $6,000 worth of batteries, and all the components. Sure, 
You might be able to cut some costs here and there, or add a few costs depending on what you do. When you calculate or when you start looking at what some of these other guys are paying out there, especially for the services, when you're paying for the service to have somebody else do it, that 7.5 kilowatt, uh, 20 kilowatt battery bank is probably going to cost you $30,000, $50,000 depending on who you hire. In my case, everything was DIY. I did it myself, did all my own research, did all my own pricing. Uh, you guys can take from what I did and learn from it, implement it, change it, do a little more uh, search and discovery and hopefully find your guys a better solution and at a little cheaper cost. Maybe you can get your kilowatts up for a lot less money than I did. I know the batteries in my case were pretty expensive. All in all, I'm really happy with my solar system. And on that note, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and we will look forward to seeing you in the next one.